Hello, you got Mike here in the Philippines. I wanted to talk today to you about when I uh, took Social Security. I was planning on waiting until I was 66 in four months. That way it had been, you know, full term deal. And anyway, when I hit 62, uh, I was sitting there talking to my doctor and, you know, she was explaining to me, you know, uh, about stress and all this. It seemed like I was under a lot of stress, which the type of job I was under, uh, there was a lot of stress to it. And um, anyway, I told her, well, when I get 66 in uh, four months, I plan on returning to the Philippines and, uh, you know, enjoying it over here. And uh, anyway, she proceeded to tell me that uh, you would live longer over there because you wouldn't have the stress that you have right now, that's for sure. And I gotta agree to her, since I've been here, no stress. You know, it's been pretty easy going. You know, never take anything too seriously. You know, you go to the place and they say, well, you can't do that. You just take it for what it is and, and go on. So anyway, I knew I couldn't uh, do it at 62 because I still owe too much, you know, and credit cards and stuff like that. So I pulled my wife to the side and I said, listen, we're gonna just make it where we can, you know, pay all of our credit cards and all that, and bills and stuff, and move to the Philippines next year when I'm 63. So anyway, uh, we got, you know, paying the bills and everything started going, you know, like we planned and I, uh, Set up a point, went down to Social Security, see what, you know, we would get, and uh, was kind of surprised. But anyway, worked out good. And I asked him, well, when, you know, I have to stop work uh, to draw it for, you know, starting in January, you know, get a check in January. And then he told me I'd have to work, you know, no later than November 30th would have to be my last day. Being I work for myself and, uh, you know, you're on 1099s, it's kind of like, a, you know, your honor system. But they ask you how much you plan on making for that year. So uh, you got to let them know what, you know, what it is. And uh, so anyway, we just started paying the bills and, and uh, I sent her over two months before I came so she could, uh, it's real important for the first year uh, birthday for the, for the kids and it's a big deal over here. And so she wanted to celebrate Lucas's birthday over here. And I said, well, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that because you know, we can video chat at the time and, and everything. So it's no big deal. So anyway, she come over and she had to get the house ready and stuff because uh, we needed to do a lot of work over here to get this house like it is. And uh, so I finished just paying all the bills and uh, when it came uh, get close, I let the people know I wasn't gonna be working after November 30th, gave them 30 day notice. And uh, anyway, it worked out good for everybody. And some of the le well, one of the leases, I let my son take over, and then the others, they had another contractor operator working. So I just, you know, bowed out and let them take over everything. And uh, so anyway, when November 30th got here, I uh, quit working. Uh, December. Six, I left the U.S. to come to uh, the Philippines. And so anyway, uh, <clears throat> everything's going good. And uh, things started coming together. The house still wasn't ready, so we had to do things you know, around that. And so uh, when I was got here and got my extension on my visa and... Uh, Anyway, one third week in January got here, 
the checks was in my bank account. Everything's good. So we're thinking that uh, everything's fine. But then February came. And I waited and no check from the Social Security. And so I got kind of worried and everything. And you can't call them because it takes forever and it costs you too much to call from here. So I'm getting online and finally I get onto my account. And anyway, I got a hold of somebody on, on uh, live chat and she told me I didn't call them to let them know that I had quit work November 30th. And I go, it kind of didn't make sense. You gave me a check in January and then you hold it up, you know, February. And I told her, well, I did exactly what you guys said. November 30th, I didn't work any longer. So now the problem was, she said, well, you'll get checked the following month on the 15th. And I go, well, are they going to back pay for this month? And... She really didn't know. She says, I don't know on that. And so anyway, we were thinking we had another three weeks to wait for a check. We had one within, you know, like 10 days after that. And what was funny is they went on ahead and paid for the next month because it was going to be due in, in a couple of weeks, I guess. So it all worked out. And uh, so I guess... Uh, maybe it's because, you know, the new year, because uh, it's 2019, and then when 2020 got here, I guess we need to call them to verify that we, we quit work. And uh, uh, I thought that was something they would know automatically, but I guess when you work for yourself, they don't know that so until you do call them. So anyway, we got that mess straightened out and it seems to be working just fine now. So when's the best time to take Social Security? Well, the thing is, I was looking at how much more I'd get if I waited. And it was only like $260 more. And that wasn't going to change my life that much. Not enough to wait, you know, another three years and however many months. And so... That was the reason why we did it at 63 and three months, whatever it was for, uh, you know, retirement. And, um, you know, you, you got to go by your health, how you feel. Um, is that money going to make that much difference to wait? Um, you know, there's a lot of things you got to decide on your own. You can't do exactly what I do. And I can't do exactly what you would do. I'm just showing you one way uh, that, you know, it's possible. Uh, so anyway, I hope this helps you. Uh, I can't think of uh, uh, any reason why if somebody's planning on, you know, moving out of the country and especially where it's a lot cheaper and, and uh, different that you wouldn't do it at 62 and I guess I should have did more research before and I could have you know made it at 62 if I would have planned you know paying my bills off earlier but I was at the time I was actually planning on 66 and four months so that was the reason why I had to wait a year so I hope you enjoy this video hit like subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.